Hey everybody, Dr. Level Up here, and I'm shooting my very first collection video. I've talked about this in the past, how I want to play and rate and review a lot of my favorite RPGs and JRPGs. And the problem with that is I have actually, over the last few years, well, not the last few years, but in the past, in the 2000s, early 2010s, I did a bad. I sold a lot of my stuff to GameStop. And now I want to go back and play some of these games for you on stream and review them here on YouTube. And so I'm in this place where I'm actually wanting to go back and try to recollect some of these things. Now I didn't get rid of valuable PlayStation 1 games or Super Nintendo games. I never owned a copy of Earthbound or a Black Label Xeno Gears or anything like that on the PlayStation 1. But I did own a lot of games on the Xbox, PS2, Xbox 360, PS3, so on and so forth. So one of my goals has been over the last couple of months is to go and try to find places in my city that have games on the regular that are reasonably priced. And so this is my very first haul video. I've got some RPGs I want to show you. Some JRPGs I want to show you. They're in no particular order. I don't know when I'm going to play them and review them, but I've got a sack here that I want to walk through with you. And the first one I want to start with is the oldest one that I got, and that is White Knight Chronicles 2 for the PlayStation 3. I always saw these games and the discs sitting at my local Walmart or wherever, GameStop, when I used to go buy games, but I never actually got into this game or this series, and I was looking, I'm like, well, you know, I don't know if I'd like it or not. It was cheap. That's the thing. I got all these half-price books. A lot of them were 20% off, and this one actually includes the first game and the second game on the same disc, so that's, that's pretty neat. We'll, we'll, we'll keep a PlayStation 3 here. We'll, we'll stick with a little bit of a trend. Uh, the next game is Tales of Symphonia Chronicles for the PlayStation 3. I have owned this in the past. This is one of the games I got rid of. In fact, I got rid of all my Tales games. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't stick with collecting, why I thought I needed to sell old stuff, when really I wanted to keep a majority of it. I don't think I'm really ever gonna sell games again, at least not regularly. So I have Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. This is the remastered version for the PlayStation 3. It's also available on Steam. This comes with Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World, which was on the Wii. I have played Tales of Symphonia, I played it originally on the GameCube, and instead of collecting the GameCube version, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get the PS3 version because it comes with both games. I've never played the one on the Wii. And speaking of Tales games, this is Tales of Zillia 2. They you might be, well, where's Tales of Zillia? Well, they didn't have a copy. I saw this one, so I grabbed it. Again, 20% off. I got this for $7.99. It's in great shape. Um, in fact, all three of these cases so far are in very good shape. They need a little bit of cleaning, but the discs and the games and the cases themselves all in, in quality shape. I've never played this Tales game. I don't know anything about it. I loved the first Tales of Zillia. I want to replay it, but uh, I've never played two. So eventually we'll get to that. I'm gonna replay one first though. And we'll transition. We have a couple of things where I only have one of each. And the next one, and not an RPG, but something I wanted to collect all the less or all the more. And that is Super Mario All-Stars for the Wii. I have been wanting to get a Wii U back so I can play my Wii with HDMI out. And so I saw this, this is a pretty valuable title. I've seen this go upwards of like 45 and $50 before. So I thought, well, I'm gonna pick it up for 9.99. Now, one of the things I did do with this is I bought the game and it had a horrible case. It was in really bad shape. So they had a bunch of bargain bin stuff for two and three dollars. So I picked up a copy of Wii Cheer for the Wii and just threw the game and the slip cover out. Now, I wasn't paying attention when I got this. Unfortunately, this disc belongs to Jones there, as you can see. And so I really want to, um, uh, well, 
I really want to make sure that I get that off of there somehow, some way. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Then for the Xbox One, rounding out my completion of all the Final Fantasy games that have released on the Xbox in physical form, is Final Fantasy Type O HD. I have never played this. I don't know anything about it. I've just always kind of skipped it because I think it's more of an action RPG than a turn-based RPG. But again, I want to check it up. Case, it was in great shape. And you guys know I do like to play games on my Xbox. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of RPGs, but the ones that are there, I play them. Now, changing gears and going back to the PlayStation 2 era, we have two, three more games to show you. One of them here is Dot Hat and Dot Hack. One of them here is Dot Hack Infection, the first in that series. Some of the other games in the series are incredibly expensive. They're $100, but this first one, only $15. They got more expensive as they went. I was talking to one of the other YouTubers and streamers. I really enjoy his content, Super Derek. You've probably heard of him. And he said, just play the first one, watch the videos for the rest of them, and you've experienced the whole thing. That's what he said to do, so I bought the first one. This other game I never owned a copy of before, and that is Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga. This was another game that the case was in pretty rough shape, so I bought a copy of Madden 2000 and whatever for $2. I took the cover off, I took the, took the uh, disc out, and I replaced it with a really nice case and disc. It was worth the extra two bucks to do that. And then finally, going back to the Tales games, we have Tales of the Abyss. I have never beaten this one. I've played it multiple times, but we have picked it up again, and I'm excited to check it out. Now, I have a love for the Tales series, and so I feel like this is one I need to, to get back to. Now, one of the things I'm actually doing right now is there's a big rumor that the Sony PlayStation 5 is going to be backwards compatible. It's going to play my PS2 games. It's going to play my PS3 games. I don't know that to be a fact. I'm a little iffy on it, but until they've announced anything, I'm actually not gonna try to buy any old hardware and either modify it or buy some of the um, equipment that you can use to get a, a decent HDMI out signal on that. So that is kind of what I'm waiting on at this point. So you're not gonna see these games stream for a little while, but once I know either way what they're gonna do there, then I will make a decision. Um, if they don't decide to, I'm probably gonna get a another a ps3 to replay and then a ps2 and some of those hdmi out options that they have I do have two other things not games but i thought i would throw them out at the very end um, i've always wanted to watch these they were really cheap at half price books the two um teenage mutant ninja turtle games that game sorry the two teenage mutant ninja turtle movies that came out kind of the remakes um you know maybe we'll watch those and i'll i'll do something with them i'll let you know if i think they're any good Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in watching this kind of content, I, I do visit Half Price Books about once a week, the one close to me, and see what kind of new RPGs they have in stock. I'm always looking for games, especially in the PS2 and PS3 era that are relatively inexpensive and that are great experiences that I should collect and own. As much as I would love to go back and do the Super Nintendo era of games and um, on, those games are incredibly expensive. I suppose if I found a good copy of Earthbound, I, I would probably pick it up. I, I've seen it there at Half Price Books for $150. If I had a coupon, which every coupon works for anything in their store, if I had a coupon or something for 20% off, I, I might consider doing that. I've always wanted to own a copy of Earthbound and Chrono Trigger, things like that. But for now, we're gonna collect the things that are a little less expensive. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more regular content by me, go down to the description below and look at my Twitch channel. That's where you're gonna find a lot of the live streaming content.